All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Reef RX. So on today's episode, we are gonna be making our own fish food. So I have everything I need right here. Gonna walk through how I'm gonna do this and what I'm gonna be using. So for frozen food, I'm gonna show you that first. Um, I'm using some uh, frozen tilapia, some frozen tuna, picked up some frozen scallops, some frozen uh, raw shrimp. You wanna make sure it's raw and you wanna make sure that the tails and the shell is off. So um, this kind had the tails and the shell on, um, but I defrosted it to take off the tails and the shell. And then I have some frozen mysa shrimp. And the reason why I'm giving the frozen because my fish don't really eat this because it's they're too big. So I'm gonna put them all in the uh, grinder, the uh, food grater here and um, make them smaller. So that's what I have for frozen. For dry food, um, I'm using some nori. I'm using nori because I have algae eaters in my tank. And then I'm using some uh, dry mysa shrimp as well. And then I'm gonna give some veggie pellets and some um, other fish pellets here. And then for, I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna add stuff for corals, some food for corals in the tank. So I'm gonna mix that all together with the frozen food, food I'm gonna make. So I have some coral amino acids. I have some polyp lab, uh, yeah, polyp lab polyp booster, some spirulina powder, some freeze dried rotifers, a little bit of reef roids. And then also for my fish, I have Brightwell Aquatics uh, Amino Omega. And then I have a mandarin goby, so I picked up some um, little eggs for my fish as well, for my mandarin mainly. So um, I'm gonna mix up the dry ingredients first. That way, the dry and the wet, I'll do those separately. And then I'll allow the wet ingredients to mix with the dry so the dry ingredients can soak up all of the uh, wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put the frozen food back in the freezer for now because I'm not ready for it yet. Um, but we'll do everything else first. One thing I forgot to mention, I also have some freshly hatched baby brine shrimp that I'm gonna add to it as well. A couple of other things you're gonna need. You're gonna want a food processor. You're not gonna wanna use your regular kitchen um, household food processor because chances are it's gonna reek of fish and you'll never get that smell out of there. So I just picked up a cheap one off of Amazon. Um, it's super loud. I have a KitchenAid for the food that we eat but I don't want to use that good, uh, that good food processor and ruin it. So, and then I also picked up um, some, like these silicone ice tray cubes. I don't know how well these are gonna work out, but I want to give them a shot so if I can make like little cubes. Um, I picked up a spoon from the Dollar Tree, some little, uh, these like tin things from the Dollar Tree as well. And um, you're gonna want some freezer bags. So freezer bags with the zippers will work the best. And I think that's everything. You'll need a knife, obviously, to cut up some of the stuff to put it into the food grade, food processor. All right, so first, let's move these ingredients aside and let's mix up our dry stuff. All right, so for the dry stuff, I'm gonna put the freeze-dried mysis, the, um, the pellets, both pellets, and the rotifers, and a little bit of, I'm just gonna use a small amount of reef roids. I'm not gonna use too much and then obviously my nori. So what I'll do is I'll cut this nori up into little sheets. So you're gonna want a pair of scissors for that as well. I don't have any set amounts of how much of all these ingredients I'm gonna use, kind of kind of just wing it. So I'm gonna cut some of this up nice and small and put like little slits in like this way and then I'll cut it the other way. You can buy this stuff that's already, uh, already cut up like this. I think Bulk Reef Supply sells it, but I had a bunch of these sheets, so might as well just cut them up and use them. All right, I have all of my um, nori cut up into little pieces there, so that's perfect. So then I'm gonna add my mysis freeze-dried shrimp. I'm going to add some veggie pellets. And then I'm gonna add some, these are called PE pellets. Give that a good little mix up. I'm also going to add my uh, freeze dried rotifers. So these would be good for the corals and my mandarin. And then I'm gonna add a small amount of reef roids. I don't wanna do too much because these um, raise your phosphates quite a bit. 
So that's good. Just in case you guys are wondering what this smells like at home, it stinks. So that is it for my dry, oh, nope, forgot the spirulina powder. I'm gonna add some of that in. All right, and that's it for my dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna leave this to the side. And now I wanna mix up my wet ingredients. I'm just gonna use the cover for, um, for one of these tins because I'm not gonna need this cover. So I'll put all my wet ingredients in here. Um, so I'm gonna add some coral amino acids. Oh, this is leaking. Give it a good shake. And again, there's no measurements for this stuff. It's all just eyeballing it or however much you want to add. We'll start with this and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to add my super eggs. Oh, and one more thing I forgot that I have in the fridge I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna add this whole bottle. Um, let me add that garlic before I forget. I'm not gonna add a whole lot of it. probably good right about there and then I want to add some of the polyp labs polyp booster so this is good for feeding corals and then I want to add some of these amino acids for the fish it's gonna add that whole bottle this was about halfway gone it wasn't a full bottle all right and then I'm gonna add some of these fresh Brine shrimp, baby brine. I'm gonna use some RODI water just to get them out of the sieve here, just a tiny bit. There's not a lot of shrimp in there, um, but once, I'll probably have more by the time I'm done making this. So I just wanna give this a good stir. And then once I stir it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients together. Just making sure I didn't forget anything. All right, so I'm going to pour my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients. All right, I'll give this a good mix together and let it sit for a while. If it's too liquidy, I'll add some more um, freeze-dried mysis, which it appears it might be. So I'm going to add some more freeze-dried mysis. So these, uh, all this dry food is going to soak up all this wet food. I mean, it should become thicker. So we're going to let this sit for a while, and while this is sitting, I'm going to work on grinding up all of my frozen food in the food processor. Yeah, so this is already becoming thicker, as you can see. So this will soak it up. Like I said, we'll give it some time to soak all this up. Just want to mix it real well. All right, so I'll put this aside, let that sit. And then I'm going to use a separate cutting board I have just for my fish, because I don't want to stink up a one of the uh, cutting boards we use for our food. So just one of these cheap cutting boards. And then this is like that no slip stuff you put in cabinets that works really good for preventing cutting boards from sliding. So I'm gonna use that. And now I need to cut my frozen pieces of food uh, into, a si into a small size that'll fit into my food processor. In the food processor, I'm using the grating attachment because I don't want to chop it up. Um, I just want it like grated, like almost like a cheese grater, so. You could use a cheese grater by hand, I guess, but that would probably take a long time. Another thing to mention before you start doing all this, make sure everything is cleaned. You've rinsed it well with RODI water. You don't want any soap residue. I'm talking about like containers and stuff. You don't want any soap residue um, left over in getting into your fish food. So this is all my shrimp. Uh, it's in one big clump because like I said, last night I, um, I peeled it. So we'll let that sit for a minute. Take some of this tuna. These are perfect chunks that can fit right in here, it looks like, so that's good. So uh, you can use other, other uh, ingredients as well, like you know frozen mussels, clams, squid. Uh, but this is what I found at the grocery store. I think this is a good start, so. And then also, you don't need to use all the ingredients, especially all the dry stuff. If you're not feeding corals, don't put reef words in there. Don't put um, amino acids for corals in there. You know, you can customize it to your fish's needs. If you don't have herbivores in your tank, then don't feed, uh, don't feed nori. So this is all customizable to however your tank is set up and what the demand is for your fish. All right, so I have my three pieces of tuna, so let's get this started. This is gonna be loud, so. All 
All right, let me grab some tilapia. All right, let's get this grinded up. All right, I'm gonna empty this into my pan because this is kind of getting full. All right, I got all my um, frozen food uh, in the food processor all shredded up. So I'm gonna mix this together. I actually had to run to the store to get a bigger pan because the one I had was not big enough. I had no idea I was making this much. So this will probably be a 10 year supply of food for my tanks. I'll probably uh, sell some of it online to local reef clubs for anyone else that's interested. If you're in the Massachusetts area, um, hit me up. I am in the South Shore area, kind of near Brockton. All right, so this is all mixed together good. I'm gonna um, add my wet ingredients with my frozen and mix that all together. This has gotten much thicker uh, than it was earlier. Probably should have showed you before, but I'm gonna rinse it with just a little bit of RODI water just to get everything out of here. So I'll mix this all together really well and then I'm gonna start to bag it. Bag it and then use, I'll try out some of these ice cube tray things I have. I'm not sure how good it's gonna work. All right, I got this mixed really well together here. It's blended perfectly. Smells delicious. So let's start. Um, I'm gonna fill up these little containers first. Like I said, I don't know how good these are gonna work, but I wanna give it a shot. So it's good if I go on vacation and um, I want someone to feed the fish for me, they, I could just instruct them to feed a cube instead of snapping off a small amount out of a bag. Who knows how much that would be. So I'm gonna fill these up. I just got these little tray things off of Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. I think around, they're less than 10 bucks. Actually, I think it's gonna work pretty well. Now I'm wishing I got more. So I'm just kind of putting it in there and then using the back of the spoon to kind of push it in to get the little air pockets out. I got mini cubes also because I wasn't sure if the sizes, if these ones would be too big. They do, they're definitely large, but I think they'll be all right for my tank. I'll probably make smaller ones, the mini cubes for my other tank, my 40 gallon, once there's not as many fish in there. All right, so that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna throw this guy in the freezer and do the second one. I wish you guys at home could smell how delicious this smells. Came out better than I thought. Um, when I was grinding up my food, my camera got too hot, so I had to shut it off. I actually threw it in the freezer. Um, and that's when I ran to the store and everything. But the leftovers I had in the food processor, like the tiny pieces, I gave it to the fish and they went crazy for all that stuff. It was just the frozen so, but they definitely loved it. So this is what that looks like. I'll put that in the freezer, let that do its thing. And then I'll pop, probably pop these out and put them in a little baggie um, so they can just be fed to the fish. So this, this food is kind of a blend for all. So this is gonna, like I had mentioned earlier, this will feed my omnivores, my herbivores, um, my corals, my picky eaters. This is kind of gonna feed everyone, make everyone happy and healthy. It's got the amino acids for the corals, the fish. So I'm kind of excited to see the long-term effects, how this food has for my fish versus the frozen that I was buying from the store. Plus, you know, this. some people might say, well, why do you do this? It seems like a lot of work. Well, it's kind of like an extension to the hobby, right? How many of you can say you make your own fish food? I think that's pretty cool. All right, so these mini cubes are filled up. And now I'm gonna start working on these bags. So when I fill up these bags, I don't want them to be too thick because you'll never be able to break them off. I got the ones with the slide uh, zip thing at the top so they're easier. So uh, I'm gonna just give a good scoop in there, maybe two, see how two does. And I'm gonna close it. Well, I'm gonna squeeze it down first, like this. This is perfect, it's nice and flat. What I might actually try is, oh, actually it seeped out the top. Looks like the seal broke. Yeah, so this bag is not sealing. Try another one. Actually, it looks like these are all defective. None of them seal. Let's try this box. Luckily, I bought a new, bo new box. Yes, these work. 
So these bags are defective. All right, here's a perfect bag for a freezer. It's thin enough where you can break off a piece once it's frozen to feed to your fish. All right, so I'll throw it in the freezer like that. Let it freeze and uh, then it'll be good. That's gonna be about it guys. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm just gonna finish up, clean up my mess. Um, if, I'm gonna try to put everything in the description of what I used. And if you guys have any questions, please be sure to ask. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any of the questions you have. And then um, on one of my weekend update videos, I'll do an update to let you guys know how the fish like this food. So I'm super excited to feed it to them. It was kind of fun. Gave me something to do today to make this fish food and it's cost saving. It saves money from having to buy all the frozen food uh, from your local fish store or online. So if you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to like the video and be sure to subscribe for more future videos. Thanks so much.